So I have been using Google Drawing with um, a lot of elementary school kids. It's an easy, pretty accessible tool. You can draw different shapes. You can actually trace those shapes and fill them with different colors. If you use the um, polyline tool, that'll allow you to trace out a shape like I did here with the Wisconsin. But when you're done, what I like is that you can take your shape and you can go to File, Download As, and you can export it in different ways. In this case, Scalable Vector Graphics, or SVG file, is the one that we want to take a look at. That file will allow us to edit it with 3D um, software. So I like the software called Tinkercad. It's at tinkercad.com, and it's a product from Autodesk. And if you go to the pane on the right-hand side, there's a section that says Import, and you can choose a file, choose the one that we just made, and then go ahead and click the Import button, and what it will do is it will take that and drop it onto the work plane for you to basically manipulate. So now I have this Wisconsin that I can take a better look at, um, zoom in, zoom out, and I can start to manipulate it. So if I wanted to make it a really tall Wisconsin, I could raise it up and you can see the results of that. And I have a way to go back to the original Google Doc and see if I could make a new shape. So in this case, I want to trace out like the inner, um, just a basically an inner, more simple shape of Wisconsin on the inside. You can see what I'm going to do with this next. So imagine this is my finished product. And uh, I could edit these points. So I'm going to delete the original Wisconsin and just keep this one and export this one. Do download as SVG one more time. And um, I'm going to use this file back in Tinkercad so I can add more than one. So again, I go to the same steps, import, choose file. And I made this one called inside. And then click open and import one more time. And I'll have another sort of more simple version of Wisconsin. So... I can mess around with these. I can drag them and uh, raise it off the work plane and kind of stack them up as you see. There's a lot of different options for what I can do. So I actually switched it and made it a hole. So now as I move the inside Wisconsin around, it's actually going to be a hole. So whatever it touches, it'll cut out. And so if I take the original Wisconsin and manipulate it, so I could um, raise it up also, make it kind of a really tall Wisconsin, and then put the hole, you can see where this is going, right? The hole inside the Wisconsin. I can sort of make essentially a, a little bit of a dish, a Wisconsin dish. So I'll, I'll have to zoom out of here, and um, I can actually make this hole as you know much much bigger than I need. So I could shrink it down a little bit just so I can visualize this. And then if I group the two blocks by dragging them and clicking the group at the top, you'll see that I've sort of made just a basically a little Wisconsin cup. So that's just one way of using Google Draw to get it into 3D shapes. Um, another thing that I like Google Draw for is that you can insert word art. So Tinkercad only has one font, but if I wanted to mess around with other fonts, I could, uh, well, this is a very basic font, but let's pick a font um, that where the letters are kind of touching. Lobster, see how the letters are touching? That's good, because if I wanted to 3D print that, then it would be almost all connected. And I imported it into uh, Tinkercad just like I did before. The only thing I did is I used um, a block and you can see where the dots in the eyes are and the Wisconsin, the W in Wisconsin was hanging off to the side by itself. So I connected them with tiny little blocks. And when this prints out, as you can see underneath, when this prints out as one big shape, it'll be connected by those spots. I did the other thing, the same thing on the other um, dot on that eye. And then once that's done, the, the next step really is just to basically select the entire piece. Now you can do that just by clicking and you're going to drag a box around the whole thing and then click that group button on the top. And I don't have any red filament, I should, for Wisconsin Badgers, but we'll do blue for now. And, um, and then you click design. And under the design, you can download for 3D printing. And the file you want is STL. And then that file will be downloaded and you can load it into your 3D printer and you can start printing as you can see and off I go. And then um, it prints out, peel it off the bed and, and you're done. And you can see the finished products I have here, Wisconsin letters in a brand new font and the little Wisconsin dish that I made using Google Drawing and Tinkercad together. It's a simple process and I hope you can put it to use. Thanks for watching.